if you can see in there behind this uh, uh focus it again uh there you go in in here um behind the sticker that shows you the battery polarization or whatever there's a screw um this is broken on this one so the screw is completely stripped but um yours might have one You should have 10, but mine has nine. Oh. There you go. It's just for an LCD issue that I'm trying to figure out, but I haven't really been able to. But hopefully I'll get there someday. <laughs> Probably off camera, yeah. But right now I'm just trying to bend back these contacts a little bit so they can touch the board a little bit better. Unfortunately, they're actually starting to oxidize a little bit. But let's see. Still doing a, it's still having a yeah, LCD issue, but um, we'll have to try and wait to figure that out because the issue with this one is that this has a data back, so it has a connection. Um, do please focus. Thank you. It has a connection between the camera and the back. Um, so if I try and pull the main chassis off, uh, it'll tug at this cable and I won't be able to get it off. So I have to take the entire data back thing off, which I don't really want to do. So right now, I'm just kind of dealing with having to push down on the screen, you know. But yeah, um, if my phone doesn't run out of storage, I'll be able to show you how to put it all back together, but my phone will most likely run out of storage.
It's, it's really the same way that you take it apart. It's just a couple of screws. I also could be um, over disassembling this uh, because the, the front plate is, requires less screws to take out. Um, so you might need to take out less screws than this, but um, I'm just kind of taking out all of them just to be safe. So I've had issues with um, dust uh, coming in here in this area. So make sure there's no like little like hairs of dust there. Like even if you can barely see it with your eye, it's um, it's uh, it's messed up a couple of my photos to be honest. Uh, but yeah. Uh, really take care of um, which screws are going where because uh, a lot of these screws may look similar but they, they have different lengths and you really don't want to mess that up. So before I had to um, push down right on here while turning it on for it to work, but now it seems to be doing it fine. So yeah, that's how you uh, take the front plate off. <laughs> 